I am in the streets of Bangalore on the way to Agumbe uh, for a couple of days. Uh, it's five in the morning, as you see, it's still pretty dark, and I'm sorry for my sore throat. Agumbe is a small village um, located in the district of uh, Shimoga in the Malnad region of Karnataka. This place is also known as Cherapunji of South because of the heavy amount of rainfall it receives. We are on the Bangalore Highway. It's six thirty a.m. and it's a beautiful morning. And I'm so hungry already. I woke up so early in the morning. I woke up at 3 a.m. Hey, you people made the quantity that you can stop. <laughs> For yours. Thank you. Yummy breakfast time. We are at Chikmangalore now and it's 9.45 a.m. So we just took two breaks. One was the breakfast break and the other was a tea coffee break. So I think on the uh, on the whole we would have spent just half an hour for the breakfast and tea. And we should reach our destination by 12 p.m. We are at Chikmangalore. And we went in night. Yes, Karna. Night. Amma gave me cup noodles at night. Yeah, but when we reach, it we give night. The roads are not bad. We are going to stay at Koppa. Koppa is about 331 kilometers from Bangalore, and we are going to take the Hassan route. So we reach Hassan and then Belur, Chikmangalore, and then we reach Koppa. And we have booked a homestay there, and the homestay is called Modana Mane. Koppa is a small town and a prominent taluk headquarter in Chikmangalore district of Karnataka. It's very scenic and attracts a lot of nature lovers. In fact, it is also regarded as the Kashmir of Karnataka because of its climate. Koppa is surrounded by many interesting places and a lot of ancient temples. Koppa is well connected by road network except the hill ghats at some section. Direct buses are also available to Koppa from Mangalore and Bangalore. We are having punugulu now. You can check for the recipe in my channel. But actually, I didn't make this. My friend made this. We are traveling with them. We are traveling with one of our family friends. It's nice. We stopped by to have some fresh sugarcane juice. I'm going to have it with ginger. Thank you. We reached Modana Mane. This is right on the main road and very near, about 3 kilometers from the Kopa town. This is a cottage. Nice. Cool place. I like it. This is our room. It's well maintained, neat and clean bathroom, and it has two double bed and it has a lot of natural sunlight and it's pretty airy too. It has very basic amenities and there's no television and network you get here on and off. Perfect place to unwind. So much of nature around and if you're traveling in large group, you can choose to stay in dormitory. This one is the dormitory. Looks like a cute small home. We are going to live here for the next two days. Yippee! Thank you. My baby is giving me a yellow flower. Thank you, Kanna. Thank you so much. Kanna, don't plug any more flowers, okay? Mama, I need two flowers. Salma, one flower is enough. No, enough. One is enough, Kanna. Please, don't plug. Auntie will scold. I'll show you the place around. It's time for lunch. Let's see what's for lunch. So the stay includes food, 
uh, all three meals that is breakfast, lunch, dinner, evening tea, coffee along with snacks. I am all set to start my tour and you hang around with me while I take you around to all these wonderful places. See you in chapter 2.